What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different for the channel. It is some of the behind the scenes stuff that I'll be using and this is the Mogo Crane Kit. Photography and Cinema sent this out to me and big shout out to them and thanks for sending this out for review. So we'll unbox it first and we'll take a look and then we'll go over the product at the end. And here you can see just the, the normal arm that you would get on any type of fluid head or any type of head you would have for your tripod. There's the, uh, the Mogo Crane belt. And that, that's what's different about this one. And we'll go over that uh, at the end and when we put it together. This is just a, a strap to hold the whole unit. Uh, and then it comes with a fluid head also. And then what looks to be a monopod, but it actually is not. So. Um, again, this is something a little bit different. It actually connects to a belt that wraps around your waist uh, so that you can use your body as sort of leverage to do different types of shots. So let's open up the fluid head and take a look at what we have here. You have one quick release plate here separate and then you also get another one with the head which is pretty awesome to have two. The only problem is I use Manfrotto heads and these are proprietary so they're not uh, any type of crossover to where I can use it. Another problem with this head, and it may not be a problem to you, but it's sort of a problem to me, is that it's completely plastic uh, from the mounting head, from the mounting plate uh, to the full body is all plastic. So we'll get into that in a few more minutes. This is a quick release plate that you'll use from the belt accessory to the actual monopod part of the uh, crane kit. And it's extremely handy. I really, um, I'm really impressed with that part of it. Uh, the quick release is fantastic. Actually, the whole unit, spoiler alert, is fantastic. The only issue I have is with the fluid head, which we'll talk about more later. And here is the actual, uh, the belt part of the kit. And as you can see, it comes with this well rubberized piece where everything connects to. And I'll show you that in a few seconds. We'll connect the fluid head to the top. Now, like I said, I'm not entirely impressed with the fluid head, but the rest of it is, the build quality is fantastic. The actual monopod piece has sort of a gas shock type build to it, to where when you unlock it, it actually sort of releases itself and compresses upon itself when you push it back down. So that's a really nice feature to have. It's like an assist. So we'll put, finish putting everything together. Obviously just the, the arm for the fluid head, tighten that down. And then this part here, this is the bottom where you would use if you were just gonna use it as a normal monopod, but we're gonna add that quick release plate uh, round piece here to the bottom. It's got a rubber uh, seal on it or a rubber piece on it for to make a nice seal. And then you, the thumb screws just loosen up and then you have this secondary piece, the male piece, that'll go onto the belt here, which the belt piece has that same rubberized piece to make sure you, you get a good seal and that it actually sort of locks in. You also have a flathead screw on the top to make sure you lock it down into place. And then it just literally just drops in and then the thumb screws just engage underneath the lip of the male piece to connect the two together. Really simple, but yet really ingenious. And then you can see you have all that type of motion. Uh, and that's like a, it feels like a ball bearing type of connection. I'm not sure what's inside of it, but it's very smooth. That part is, is buttery smooth. Now again, the fluid head, it has a bunch of positions and knobs, but everything on it's plastic. Uh, the hash marks are nice to, to sort of follow where you are in your pan. Now don't get me wrong, everything's plastic on it, but everything moves very smooth and fluid like. I'm just worried about durability long term. And then my other issue, like I mentioned before, is that your quick release plate and holder is, is proprietary. So you have to have that, that plate and it's plastic. Um, so I'm not really comfortable putting a thousand dollar camera on this uh, fluid head and nothing but plastic protecting it from holding it in place and, and pretty much falling to the ground or anything like that happening. So that's my biggest qualm with this product. I would just like to have seen 
some metal in the construction, at least some metal, not all plastic. But the actual monopod itself, to me, is top quality. You have this plate here where you can add accessories. It's got some rubber uh, grips there, but you can add accessories into that plate. Um, and then here is your, it's all aluminum, the, like the gas ex, uh, assist mechanism, which is fantastic. I mean, that is amazing. And there you can see, you just loosen it and then it's gonna extend and you can just quickly tighten it back once it gets to the area uh, of full extension for what you're using it for. But again, you have the soft grip up at the top. Uh, you have your adjustment at the bottom, your accessory part sort of midstream. And then again, you can put, you could put feet. They sell a, a feet kit for their monopods. Um, you could use this for, uh, you could put a GoPro on the end of it get rid of the actual fluid head and just put the GoPro on the end. This is the quick release plate again that goes to the belt accessory. But you could put a, you could use this as a standalone without the belt, put a flash on it. Uh, again, put the GoPro on the top. There's, it's really, this thing is limited to your imagination, which is a great thing to say about a product. So let's strap it on and we can take a look. I'll give you guys a few examples of how to use this. But again, it's really, it's however you want to use it and what you're shooting and how you want to shoot it. So then we just have the belt pieces already on. We slide on the actual monopod part of it, loosen the thumb screws, just like we showed before, pop it on, screw it back into place. So this is, I mean, you could leave the belt part on while you're shooting and actually get rid of the monopod, but it actually makes it, all the weight is picked up by the belt. So really your camera gear is not really weighing on you if you have to carry it around. So again, a big plus if you're doing something like walking around at CES or something like that. So then here you can see I have it extended and you could do like a, like a pan down, almost like a jib crane type shot which you can do you know, from a small distance like this with it fully compressed or with it all the way up. Or if you're shooting something over a crowd or over some type of uh, object that's almost in the way or that you want to be in the way for your shot, you can actually extend it up. There you can see I put the handle behind my shoulder and actually used it sort of like a holder if you are walking around. Now these are just a couple shots that I did. Um, no stabilization or anything like that, but just to show you some different things. Now this is up above on top of my closet. So it's, it's a tall, you know, that's probably eight feet, seven and a half, eight feet. But again, my overall thoughts on the product is it is, it's really inventive. Um, it's nothing that I've seen before. I really like how you can do the jib shots. You can add an external monitor or your phone uh, to that clamp area, the accessory area uh, in the middle. Here you can do pan shots. You, there's it, Again, you're limited to your imagination. The only problems that I have with the whole thing is the fluid head. I'm actually going to look into getting the uh, Mogo Monopod just so I can do sort of some comparisons and I think I'm going to get rid of my Manfrotto and actually replace it with the uh, Monopod from Photography and Cinema. So I'll be taking this out to CES with me. Um, I will either be using my uh, some type of small handheld or my FZ1000, my Panasonic but it will work perfect on this and it'll be great to not have to lug around a monopod. I can just actually use this one. Uh, so this is what I'll probably be using while I'm, while I'm out there on the floor. And let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you guys would use? If uh, It's obviously for the photographer slash videographer, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this product down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, smack that subscribe button down below, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.